Hey guys, this is Richard with the Hunter Gatherer Society, and of course, my partner Dozer, as always. And we're out doing a little hiking today, but uh, I wasn't going to do any foraging today. But as is often the case, nature decided that it wanted to give up a nice offering, so I decided to uh, take something home after all. And what I've been finding along here is quite a bit of Smilex which is just absolutely one of my favorite greens to harvest here in Florida. Uh, here's one right here. Again, this is a vine. We've looked at this before, and we're looking for these tips on the end here. That is the best part. The leaves, the young leaves are edible. Um, one of the ways to tell the Smilex apart is if you'll notice on the leaves, the veins all start at the base of the leaf and then run up towards the tip. Um, that's one of the, one of the signs. The other thing too is if you notice the leaves when they come out of the stem, you'll notice here we have a leaf and then we have two tendrils. That one's kind of wrapped around. And then here we have a leaf and two tendrils. But you'll also notice they're on the opposite side. So leaf there, leaf on that side, leaf on that side, leaf on that side. Each one has those two tendrils. So that's one of your surefire ways to know that that is a Smilex and uh, and again those leaves with the veins coming out like that. And then all you do there is just at the end where it'll break off you just break off that tip. Uh, this is a wonderful wild edible. Uh, you can eat them raw. I nibble on them out here in the woods but I also take them home and I'll saute them lightly just lightly in a little maybe a little olive oil. Um, a lot of times I'll have them with my breakfast in the morning. There's a big one up here. And this one here, you can see you got the leaf forming with the two tendrils. And then if we look down further on the opposite side, the same thing. This one's harder to tell because it's larger and there's not as many leaves. But again, if you look for that, you can find it. And this is a, this is a big one. And then oftentimes you'll find little ones. I just let those go. And you'll find them... You know they're they're vines so you can find them along the ground you can find them up on trees um, you know you just kind of got to watch for those and there's a lot of different types of vines so again we're, we're looking for vines and uh, like in here you can see there's one there it's a small one but you've got the alternating leaves I'm gonna leave that one there up here is some muscadine grapes these, of course, are the muscadine grapes. Not a great example of that, um, but you can see here some additional Smilex. I believe them to be in the Greenbrier family. Um, you can see it's all along here. I'm just taking those tips off. Here's another one here. I was out enjoying a cool beverage the other night with my friends from Grumpy Goat Coffee and I was trying to explain this to them and I thought well maybe we'll just do a video and uh, again show them what it looks like so if you love great coffee check out Grumpy Goat Coffee you can find them online on Facebook but it's amazing coffee and uh, anyway that's the Greenbrier the Smilex and I see some more off in the distance here. So I'm going to keep harvesting this and enjoying this beautiful day.